Hey guys, so today I'm going to be getting ready. I've actually done my makeup and I'm going to be styling my hair with this hair that I just got from Bufox Hair or is it Bofox Hair? Then I'm also going to be discussing with you guys how I went from, you know, being an extra, being a waka pass to now being, you know, the main character, to now channeling main character energy, okay? Yes, so um, I'll discuss that while I style this hair. I'm going to leave the link to this hair and everything in the description box. I'm actually really excited to try this hair because it's quite short. I think this is the shortest wig I have ever owned. So yeah, inside the pack, it came with this brown wig cap. I really love this because I hardly see wig caps of this color. I really like the fact that they added this brown Nigerian scalp. <laughs> or Nigerian um, color wig cap and then this is the hair <laughs> so yeah this hair is actually a hundred and eighty density it is four by four closure and it is a water coily bob okay but I never had short hair like this so I'm really excited to try it out though like I'm really really excited so yeah this is a closure it is a four by four closure and yeah this is what the wig looks like it looks like something that's going to be very easy to wear and install and just keep moving okay because we don't have time to be wasting time okay we, i need something that is very simple i'm going to be traveling soon so i need something that is very very simple that i can just put on my head and be going yeah you can style it different ways you can curl it further you can straighten it you can bleach it you can do whatever you want to this hair but i really love water curls like they're always very, very easy to maintain. They're easier to maintain than most of the other, you know, um, curly hair out there. So, yeah, I love it. Okay, let me start trying it on. But I need to color this lace a bit. Like I said, I'm going to keep put the link to everything in the description box. So you can go and check it out. Um, let me just color this lace a bit because the lace is looking Caucasian, okay? It's looking Caucasian and I'm not a Caucasian. <laughs> So yeah, I've colored it, okay? Uh, now time to cut it. But before I cut this lace, let me even put the wig on my head and see what it looks like. Yeah, so this is just the hair out of the pack. I haven't done anything to, you know, the hair itself. Um, yeah, it's really, really short. So I'm going to be, you know, combing it out and styling it and just, you know, playing around with it. It's very easy to brush. Like this hair is so easy. I can't really... I can't overemphasize how easy it is to actually just style this hair. Like, I'm done. I'm done, seriously. Like, <laughs> there's nothing else to do here. I'm seriously done. This is such an easy hair. Wow. This is such an easy hair. It actually just looks like my hair. Like, doesn't this just look like my hair? It looks like I didn't do much. Like, I just you know, curled my hair and brushed it out. Let me try it side parts and see how it should look as side parts. Um, but sometimes I don't like trying side parts with center parts because um, it will look uneven. But let me just try it with this and see how it will look. Anyway, yeah, like I said, it's a little bit uneven because it was made as a center part. But look at it as side part, like, who do I look like? I look like that, your auntie, okay? You know that auntie that is always glowing, always looking Peng, always looking like ah, ah, there's something about her that you guys cannot just remove your eyes from. I feel like I look like that auntie. And yeah, that even reminds me. So the topic of today, someone asked me a question. Did you have insecurities while growing up? If you did, share them and how you overcame them. And I'm like, girl, first of all, in your question is the assumption that I have overcome my insecurities. And girl, let me break it to you. No, I have not overcome my insecurities. Okay, let me not say I've not overcome them, right? Let's just say I still have insecurities. I still have the insecurities I had growing up. I still have them now. I even have more added on top, okay? Motherhood has added more. The only thing for me or, yeah, basically how I'll say I tend to exude confidence because some people tell me that oh i'm very confident like i act like i'm so confident even the way i dress and i'm like girl you fake it till you make it okay <laughs> i'm one of those people that are faking it till you know i started making it because the truth is i have a lot of insecurities let me shift this thing back to the center part okay yeah oh, oh wait wait let's see i can actually make it even by just 
But let me put my earrings. Yeah. So, as I was saying, my dear sister, I actually have a lot of insecurities. But the thing is that I have decided not to let them hold me back, okay? I've decided not to let them hold me back because, look, we all have insecurities. There is nobody that doesn't have insecurities or doesn't have things about themselves that they wish they could change. We all have insecurities, but I have learned to live with mine. I, I've thought, I told myself, I can't be... I can't be managing my life. I can't be managing myself or my self-image or my self-worth. Or I can't be managing myself. Let me put it that way. I have to love myself. And I have to appreciate. I have to be happy with my... Not just appreciate yourself. Love, no, 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 no. I'm very happy with myself. I love myself. I keep saying this. There's nobody in this world eh, that you bring beside me and tell me, this person is finer than you and I'll accept. Maybe my children shall. Yeah, my children are finer than me, okay? But any other person in this entire universe, I don't care who you are. If you bring the person to me and tell me this person is finer than you, I'll tell you you lie. Nobody on this entire un on this entire earth or universe, okay, whether interdimensional, <laughs> whether from this dimension or a different dimension or parallel universe or whatever, nobody on this earth is finer than me, is better than me. So when I say I'm channeling main character energy, is in my life, oh. I'm channeling it in my own life, okay? So, you are free to channel your own main character energy in your own life, but I'm not an extra in your own life, right? I'm not doing it to be spiteful or to look down on anybody. I'm doing it more for myself, okay? You can't, you can't, come, and, you can't come and intimidate me with what? Like what? Okay? Oh, you're slimmer than me, eh? Uh -huh. Overall. <laughs> Like what I can say, yes, I see more than me. Okay, you have flat on me because me, I have flat on me, but you know, mother food has come to you know help the thing to, to scatter. Okay, you have flat on me, you are slimmer than me. Okay, but overall, when I stand and when you stand, I'm not you're not finer than me. That's just the truth. Okay, I have a lot of insecurities growing up. Should I mention that when I was younger, I used to be very I used to be overweight. Okay, at some point I lost the weight. But because I was overweight as a child and I was shamed for it as a child, even when I lost the weight, I was actually slim for most of my life, looking back now, okay? But when I was growing up, I always felt like I was one of the fattest people everywhere. And actually, I kind of was. Like, in my class, I was one of the fattest people, you know, because every other person was skinny and small, while me, I was big. They used to tell me I was huge, okay? So, they would tell me, <laughs> you're, not, you're not fat, you're huge. And, yeah, I'm beginning to now understand what they mean. But at the same time, I don't like it. Don't tell me I'm huge because to me, huge sounds even worse than fat. <laughs> like I'm one giant, you know. So I used to be this the big girl in class, not the biggest, not the fattest in class, right? I wasn't always the fattest in class, but I used to be amongst the tallest. So anytime I'm taking pictures, I used to be at the back. At some point, I prayed to stop growing taller. Like I literally prayed. I said, God, I want to grow taller again. I'm tired of growing taller. And now that I'm looking back, I'm like, why? What the hell was that? You know? So. Um, yeah, that was, one, that was an insecurity of mine. I didn't like standing out the way I used to stand out. But right now, I love it, okay? I like it. I love it. I love standing out the way I stand out now. So for me, I stand out effortlessly, right? So I'm not going to go into a place and be the loudest in the room or be the flashiest in the room or be the, you know, that kind of person is just everywhere. I'm never that kind of person. I'm always the quiet one in one corner or just with a group of people just having fun. I'm never the loud, you know, attention-seeking kind of person. But I still get attention because this beauty cannot be hidden. This beauty, this glow, this height, this, this skin, this complexion, this hair, this eyes, this nose, this mouth, this lips. <laughs> this lips, this fingers. You guys, can you see my fingers? Like, I have... Very long fingers, and I actually love my fingers. Okay, without nails, without fixing my nails, I have very beautiful fingernails. You know, these legs they can't be hidden, so I effortlessly stand out and I love it for myself. So that's just it, that's just the thing with me. Okay, so so the things that used to make me feel insecure, especially while growing up, are the things that I now emphasize and I now, you know, take pride in. Okay, another thing I used to be insecure about were my legs. Yes, these beautiful legs that people see and be like, oh my God, you have hot legs. I used to be so insecure about my legs and that's because I had knock knees, okay? The structure of my legs have always been pretty. I've always had nice skin and, you know, full legs. Yeah, full full legs. I don't really have yams, what people will call yam leg. Okay, so I've always had full, nice, beautiful legs. But I have knock knees or what they call K leg. Okay, so it used to, I used to be insecure about it. But girl, now I'm the one that wears short things. Like... I'd rather expose my legs than expose 
any other part of my body. Like, I rather expose my laps. Yes, with all the rumples, with all the folds, with all the stretch marks, I rather expose my legs that I used to be very insecure about than any other part of my body. Okay, so it's basically like all those things that I was insecure about are the things that I am now loving and flaunting. Okay, and that's because I had to tell myself, girl, people that you're thinking are looking at you or are better than you or feel somehow they to themselves they have things in fact they are more preoccupied about themselves about their insecurities than about you okay it is the ones the ones that come to meet you and try to shame you or make you feel less than or make you feel insecure about those things in your in your in your life okay those are the ones that actually have the biggest insecurities ever so because they they can't really they can't stand themselves they want you not to stand yourself as well as they want to make you hate yourselves as much as they hate themselves so girl i don't know why i'm preaching today i don't know why i'm so fired up today so yeah my dear all those things i still feel insecure even my feet i used to be insecure about my feet because i have extra large feet okay like <laughs> i wear size finish if you guys know what size finish is i wear size finish okay i wear size 45 basically um yeah so my extra large feet and my extra large hands i used to feel like oh my my hands might be looking manly or something but no i still have feminine fingers i still have a very pretty hand okay it's just larger okay the larger is large enough for you to notice it <laughs> It's large enough because it was so beautiful. God said, no, I can't make this thing small. I have to make it big so that the people will see it very well, okay? Same with my feet. So, what else? I used to be insecure about my nose. But right now, I put highlight on the nose. Like, I used to highlight the nose very well so that people will see it, you know? With my oily face and oil, I used to feel very insecure about it. But now, I go up and down without makeup. So, yeah, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Sometimes it's Photoshop. Sometimes it's filter, okay? Don't even be deceived. Sometimes it's filter. And even if the grass is actually greener on the other side, how is it your business? How it take concern you? Hmm? Why don't you focus on watering your own grass? Why don't you focus on what is going on in your own life than looking into someone else's life to see whether they are faking it or whether they are really confident or whether their grass is greener or it's Photoshop or it's... No, leave them alone. Focus on your own, okay? Yeah, I've said it all though. I don't have any other thing to tell you guys. I don't have any profound, you know, do this and... No, I'm being realistic here. I still have insecurities. If you tell me now to point out 10 things about myself that is not, you know, regular beauty standard, I can point out 15. I can point out 20 self for you. But at the same time, it doesn't stop me. It doesn't change anything about myself. What people are ugly in is character-wise, personality-wise. A lot of people have very ugly characters and personalities, okay? Not their physical attributes, right? I want to make it slip back and become slick. Ooh, I like it. I like it. <sighs> you guys, I love this hair so much, like... So yeah, that's it guys. That's the hair. Do you like it? I love it. So this hair is 8 inches, but you can get it longer if you want. It's water wave. You guys saw how I sprayed with water and put mousse and it is now, you know, all down and tame, looking wet, right? But if you want, you can also brush it dry. Um, I think I prefer it wet like this. I love this. <laughs> I feel I look so pretty. I even just remember that the way I talk used to make me very insecure. But right now, I'm talking on YouTube for a living. Like, basically, like I said, everything that I used to be insecure about are those things that I am highlighting the most about my life. Come and beat me. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, the link to this hair is going to be in the description box. Go and check it out. It is Bofox hair. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have insecurities and if you have overcome them. Overcome. Let me know how you over overcame your insecurities. I've told you my, I don't know if I said everything here. Maybe in another video, I'll, I'll talk more about it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.